Back in the 90s and before cell phone cameras, having a camcorder was a pretty popular thing. Recording the most adorable moments that last forever to special events or making videos of your animal doing something crazy that could earn you $10,000 was undoubtedly a reason to own a video camera. But for the serious cinematographer, ranging from wedding videographers, small news networks, and yes, even adult filmmakers, camcorders made for the average consumer just didn't cut it. So, prosumer cameras that allowed for more manual control over the camera and superior image quality were released. Amongst them was the Panasonic AG450, released in 1991. Stay tuned and see me open one up and give it a new life. Hello everyone and welcome, I'm the Retro Repair Guy. Thank you and welcome to the new subscribers. Um, I had a special show planned today on Back to the Future. I had bid and won on the camera that's in the movie, not the original one obviously, but the uh, same model number. And uh, finally the guy emailed me back and said, you know, it's the wrong model number, he made a mistake. And it's the one right after, but it looks the same, you still want it. You know, I, I kind of felt, you know, the shenanigans here going on. <laughs> No, the guy was honest. He, he just told me he made a mistake. And so uh, I decided to not take the camera and got my money back. And uh, I was looking for a camera for a while, you know. And uh, about two years ago, I missed an opportunity. The guy had everything possible. 50 bucks he asked for the camera, the tripod, everything he had. Beautiful, great shape. Guess what I said? No, I don't need it. Yeah, it's one of those things. Anyways, so the point is, is that... I ended up buying this uh, prosumer camera. Now they call it a commercial camera. It's a Panasonic AG450 reporter camera. Uh, yeah, it's got all the features of a you know professional camera, but I believe it was meant for probably videographers, you know, people filming weddings, uh, maybe small PBS stations, but all the other places are probably using a uh, high-end Betamax. So, anyways. I, I wanted to get one for a long time. I got one and I wanted one that was, you know, like I said, professional enough that has all the features, all the manual uh, controls on it. So without further ado, let's go take a look inside and see what we can do with it. Although bulky to carry around today for casual filming, the original rigid case is a huge bonus. It's quite sturdy and nothing to compare to the consumer level nylon cases and has space for all the little extras. You can see that it was a unit intended for commercial or heavy use. Inside, I found all the original cables and headphones that came with it. The original power supply with a sticker that states for commercial use only and a brand new belt and Panasonic audio video line adapter. The listing said it functions, so I wanted to make sure before I start. The camera powers on and ejects, I see it's pretty dirty inside and will require cleaning. I'm also getting picture and all the basic stuff functions. So let's go ahead and open it up.
I'm not sure if the belt has ever been changed, but with old units like these, and seeing how hard it is to get to the belt, I have to assume it's 30 years old. So I'm not about to leave it in there if I'm refurbishing the camera. Besides the old belt being warped, when comparing the old and the new one, you'll see that the old one is sort of shiny and slippery, while the new rubber has more resistance when sliding your finger over, sort of like new tires. Unless the old belt is completely sagging, you want to replace it with one that is slightly smaller. The idea is for the belt to be snug, while allowing the mechanism to turn freely without slipping, or for the motor to have trouble turning it. While I'm there, I'm adding a little bit of new white grease to the gears. When cleaning a VCR, you want to clean everything that comes into contact with the tape. You'll want to clean the video heads, audio head, erase head, cap stand, guides and pinch roller. For the pinch roller, however, I always use Rubber Renew to rejuvenate it unless it has extreme use and needs replacing. You'll want the pinch roller to have some traction, otherwise the tape will slip. Make sure to remove all the dirt stuck to the cap stand. You want to go from this to this. The power supply is also 30 years old. That means there's a good chance the capacitors are drying up and it would only make sense to change them to ensure good functioning for years to come and prevent any damage. I begin by removing the old capacitors. A quick test already shows the capacitors are off spec with voltage loss and high resistance, also known as ESR. I'm cleaning all the flux and dirt off the board before I begin to weld. I'm then replacing all the capacitors with Nishikon capacitors rated at 105 degrees. Here's the completed board with all the capacitors changed. I had to order this special one, but it wasn't in on time to complete the project, so it will be changed at a future date. I of course cleaned the housing and then put it all back together. The unit is now ready for a new life. Interesting thing about this power supply, I actually never saw one before like this. So it's not only a power supply, it's got the video uh, audio uh, outputs. It's got the RF outputs with a selection for channel three and four. Uh, in the back, you can also plug in a charger for your battery, for the battery pack, as well as, uh, of course, having a TV VCR button. Very interesting, I find, for a power supply. Um, it is very sturdy. Um, I opened it up, I changed the capacitor. No need to mention again on every show, but you know, capacitors that are 30 years old, so I'm, I'm doing it anyway. So the capacitors that are 30 years old, uh, you know, they dry up. And as you saw, there was some high ESR. I didn't test every single one of them. Regardless, I'm gonna change them, preventive maintenance. Um, this is 30 years old, they'll probably last a long time now. And I'm protecting uh, my investment. It's a beautiful piece of equipment, it's working. So by changing the capacitors in this, I'm giving it, you know, much better uh, lifespan because if it blows up or near blowing up, it's not going to affect the camera.
VHS tapes are a rare commodity these days, and I'm lucky enough to have a bunch of them at home, so I'm going to sacrifice one. All right, so what better way to test it? I'm using it right now. I kept the exact same lighting. All I did is switch out the camera. Um, this is about as wide as we're gonna get because I'm a foot from the back wall and the camera is kind of lengthy as well. I kept everything on automatic uh, except for the white balance because the white balance had an interior, exterior, and automatic setting. Now, when I left it on automatic, my skin tone was completely red. So I put it on uh, indoor and it, it's working, well, I mean, a little bit better. Um, the image looks pretty crisp on the monitor. I know it's not going to turn out like that once it's on, you know, VHS transferred to uh, the computer and all that. But recording directly digital uh, from the camera itself and not recording to VHS tape is actually not bad because I'll tell you something, the image in back of me, uh, excuse me, in, in front of me and back of the camera that I'm looking at is actually crisp and clear. Uh, of course, it's a 4.3 image, but Hey, you know, Zack Snyder's filming in 4.3 now, so I never liked 4.3, by the way. I used to buy my VHS tapes uh, widescreen and stuff like that, all special editions. But anyways, and by the way, my microphone is um, plugged in directly into the camera, so I'm not using the microphone from the camera. However, it's being processed by the camera, so there's no preamps, nothing else. So what you're hearing is uh, really the camera sound. So I can't wait to see the results myself. Aside from that, uh, I'm going to ask all of you to please subscribe, hit the notification button. I know you don't want to hear those things, but it's really the only thing that can help me to survive and help me.